While most of the teams in F1 have finalised their driver lineup for next year, Haas still haven't confirmed who will drive alongside Kevin Magnussen. Team owner Gene Haas has now spoken a few harsh truths to the Associated Press. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, Gene Haas dishes out harsh reality about Mick Schumacher. Haas started off by assessing Mick Schumacher. I think Mick has got a lot of potential, but you know he costs a fortune, and he's wrecked a lot of cars that have cost us a lot of money that we just don't have. He then revealed the condition under which a driver crashing is justifiable. Now, if you bring us some points, and you are Max Verstappen winning races, and you wreck cars, we'll deal with it. But when you're in the back and you wreck cars, that's very difficult. He then spoke about Mick's future. If he wins the next race, he's in for 2023. Somewhere in between, there is a grey area. He signed off by speaking about what the team needs to do. We started off the year with resounding success, including 5th for Magnussen in Bahrain, and I think the middle season wasn't too good, and we just seemed to fall back into our usual way of running. We've got to get out of that, but Formula 1 is so tough. Mick, meanwhile, responded to Gene's comments. Gene is my boss. Gene has every right to make his comments. It's nothing that wasn't known before. That's something that's clear and what the case was. Therefore, accepted. Of course, our goal is to collect points. Fast feed. McLaren's Daniel Ricciardo stated, I know it's a risk. I want a bit more of a sure thing. I don't want to risk just putting myself in a position where I'm going to just be at the back and be like, what am I still doing here? I don't want to resent the sport in a way. I kind of love it too much. Ferrari's Carlos Sainz suggested that you're only as good as your last race, unfortunately, in this sport. If that gets amplified to a season, then you're only as good as your last season, and that's why Daniel is in such a difficult situation. He found himself in a car and at a team that maybe he didn't find himself comfortable at, and that's enough for your career to start going through a different path. Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko pointed out that Yuki Tsunoda is young and does not have the background and experience that Nick DeVries has. We'll see how it goes next year, but looking at his experience and his personality, then DeVries has to become the team leader of Alpha Tauri. Audi Formula Racing CEO Adam Baker feels that it's not unreasonable to think they can reach the top within three years. It would be great to have science, but 2026 is still a long way off. The full development phase of a new project is very important. Having an experienced driver will be essential in that. McLaren's Lando Norris explained that personally as a driver, sometimes it hurts that you feel like you can do such a good job and you just get a little bit stuck at times. You don't feel like you're getting rewarded that well for what you're achieving or what you're putting in. But I think that's just Formula 1. That's just what happens. Is Mick Schumacher's time up in Formula 1? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.